Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. I hope my camera works this time. I just did a video on the first step of making a jumbo centerpiece. Um, I've been asked numerous times to start it from beginning to end um, because I know I have them out there, but I have so many videos there, it's, it's hard to find those. Uh, anyway, I'm working on a Minnie Mouse, and here's her offset that I did. This is two pieces of 12 by 12. 11 by 17. I take one sheet and cut it in half so it's it's um, seven and a half inches and I overlap it with the one that's 11 so that it's you know that it's 24 inches long and I cut her directly in half and then what I do is I buff the two pieces together and I run a, a strip of ATG tape when I'm holding them together because it makes them stick um, and then I had it all on video and I'm so sorry but it didn't tape and then I put a strip of white that I also put tape on, or the ATG, to tape the pieces together. And I did the flip side the same way, but I flipped it so that I could have this piece on the inside when I put the center piece together, so that when this offset is doesn't show or it shows a little tiny bit, you can't see that piece that I pieced them together. Um, I cut out the ears and the ribbon or the bow is one. I cut out the face is one. And the reason I didn't cut her out right down the middle is because I would have a line right down the middle of her face and I didn't want that. So she's pieced together. And she's wider than the 12 inch mat. So she has to be put together like a puzzle. And I've got an extra hand. No, that one goes. No, that's the wrong one. Let me see, this one. There we go, that's the right one. So, I'm gonna put this together. I am so sorry, I did the first one and it was all taken apart. But then when I went to shut the camera off, I noticed that it wasn't filming. So, we're gonna see if this one does. Sure hope my camera's not going out because when my camera goes out, there goes my video taping. I guess I'll have to send a new camera. <laughs> I should try taking it on my iPhone because my iPhone takes better pictures. I do all my photos now on my iPhone instead of on my camera because the iPhone 6 takes better pictures. But if this camera goes out, I am not going to go out and buy another one because I all of my pictures are taken on my phone. The only thing I use this one for is to tape. And let me put this together. Um, and now as far as when you're overlapping, uh, somebody had mentioned that the knife that leaves a gap. There used to be a, it near, a, a feature on the software that you could take and change the width of the cut of your uh, knife so that you wouldn't have the issue with the gap. However, Somebody asked me where that was, and after I upgraded to the business edition, I don't find that feature any longer. Um, so, I have no idea where it is. I don't know if they just stopped it, or I don't know. If anyone out there listening happens to know where that is, if they could please leave a message on this video and tell me where I can find it, because it is nice, because I do notice on a lot of my pieces, when I go to piece them together, I have that gap from the night. I work with it though because since I add so much to each one of my pieces with glitters, I cover it and it's not an issue, but it would be nice because there are some piece, center, center pieces that are maybe for a boy and I don't want them covered with glitter, but a lot of them I'm able to do on a 12 by 12 inch or 12 by 24 without having to cut it in sections. Depends on how wide it is. As long as it's not more than 12 inch wide, you can make them 12 by 24 in one cut, which I have the 12 by 18 paper that I add six inches to, but if I can do a piece without a cut in it, you know, because they're narrow enough, then I would prefer to take two 12 by 12s together so that where they're taped is more in the center rather than at, at the bottom. I would have to show you, there's, mad, there's madness behind that. Now I'm gonna put the front and back together on this. Now, I wanna see how I want her to sit. I want her to sit 
like that. So I'm going to line it up with the edge here, how I want her to sit. I'm going to take and cut off about a five inch peg of my dowel rod and these cutters and wire cutters from Menards. And then I'm going to add this stick here. And I'm going to leave about a half an inch out for my base. Now for my sticks on this one, since this is such a big centerpiece, I'm going to use the more like um, tongue depressing sticks versus popsicles. They're a lot thicker, but I really like these on the bigger pieces, the thicker ones. You can cover more area and <clears throat> when you're putting your sticks on, I, you got to make sure to overlap them because if you don't and you have a weak spot on, an in, on a centerpiece this big, it will bend when you stand it up. It will not stand straight because it's going to bend in any weak spot. I've learned that and I reinforce mine with glue. That's why I go through as much hot glue as I do because my big pieces I really load the glue on. And this one I really want to make sure that she will stand straight. And let me put one more here. Then I'm going to take my top piece and wait till my glue's pretty dry. Stand up to do this and match this up to connect my front to my back. And that's where it's going to go. And then for those of you that are beginners, I would recommend taking a little black clip like this and clipping it together in a couple areas. I don't do this any longer because I've been doing it for so long. I would clip it together so that as you do glue it, the front and back together, it doesn't shift around. Because I glue it in sections. The hot glue will dry before you get a chance to put your pieces together if you try and do it all in one and then it will not stick. Some areas will and some areas won't and you won't be able to open it up to fix the areas that didn't stick. So you need to do it in pieces. There we go. And then I'll take the clips off here and hold her up and get a glue stick ready because I can see this is running out and what happens you want to make sure pay attention to your glue gun because if your glue gun runs out of glue in the middle of gluing like I'm doing and you do not have a stick handy your glue will, will dry before you have time to stick another glue stick in your gun so I always make sure just in case just in case because this stuff does cool off really quickly. There we go. Got that piece. Now I've got that all done. I'm going to come back to show you how I glitter it up. Somebody else just arrived. We're having a family lunch here today. So I want to make sure they don't come walking in. So I'm going to shut the camera off and I will be back and show you how I enhance her and how I add my glitters to her. So I'll be back in a minute. Hi, it's Jill and Jenna with Crick Flicks and Baby Torres. So Jenna, stand up and show. Next week, look at that baby. Okay, I want everybody to tell me, is it a boy or a girl? Put your comment on there if you think it's a boy or a girl. But she is, she's all baby. But to word this correctly, is <laughs> she's huge all baby. But anyway, uh, my baby's next week. Okay, Jenna, I just did the part putting this together and Jenna is going to be doing all of the glittering on her. So you can go ahead and start that. Did you need... Um, and what I did, just kind of FYI, everybody has seen my, my stacks and stacks of, of the glitters that I use. Well, Amy had suggested, why don't you get an empty caddy so that when you're working on something, you don't have to keep looking, just pull all the glitters you're going to use. So that's what we did, is we bought an extra one 
so that she knows what color she's going to use and she just put them in her caddy instead of looking for them again and again. Um, what else is going on? Let's see here. We're all here at uh, my house having arepas made by Papa. So the kids are all out back hot tubbing, but poor Kendall cannot go um, in the hot tub until she's through with her chemo, which is another 13 months. So she's calling her mommy asking if she could at least go in up to her port, but she can't go in at all because if she has any open skin whatsoever, high risk of bacteria. So she gets to sit and watch them and it breaks my heart, but summer's coming and she can swim. She just can't go in the hot tub. And I showed a video where I opened up the little black um, wrought iron handles that like are cup holders. And I said, I think I might have ordered the wrong thing. I went online and looked and I did. All I ordered was the cup holders. So I was gonna go back and own, or the cone holders that go with the sauce cup. However, uh, the cost on that would have made these things ungodly expensive to make. So I'm returning them. So my, my, my excitement of having that new addition to my shop has been squashed. Not happening. Because they would have ended up costing like $9 or more because the shipping alone was going to be $148 for 50 pieces. And, um, you know, I might not be the sharpest tack in the drawer, but I'm a lot sharper than that. So big old return coming on. We're done. But the cellophane, did I show you J Ken or <laughs> Kendall, Jenna, <laughs> did I show you the cellophane gable boxes? Yes. yes. We got we yes. to do one of those because there's a order here that I want, I'm going to leave for you to do from the beginning to end when I'm here. And we're going to do our play dates Wednesday, Wednesday Tuesday, Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays here, not at Amy's. So I'll be here to help Mondays and When's your last day of work? Tuesday. Tuesday's your last day of work and you're returning leave? Yep. So you'll be able to work more up until you have this baby. Yes. Well, you could be having this baby. But I'm hoping to have the baby before then. Yeah, yeah. Are you feeling anything? Um, here and there. Here and there? You feel it working? I hope so. I'm getting pretty anxious to meet my new grandbaby. Um, she better get booking here. The doctor said it would be within the next week or two, but of course, my due date. That's your due you know, date, so I would, yeah, that would need to be a rocket scientist to figure out. And what else do we have going on? I don't know. A little scrapbooking coming up. Um, oh, I had a whole bunch of questions. You know, what I think I'll do is I'll take the time while she's glittering there and answer some questions that I had. Let me get on here and see if I can find. Numerous questions. Um, the first one that I know offhand is I was asked regarding uh, Cricut. Can you do these things on the new Cricut Explorer, whatever it's called? I have, I have no clue what you can and cannot do on that machine because I've never seen it, never touched one. I've never looked at the software and I know that there's a free download there that's probably the free version equivalent to the Cameo Silhouette free version. I haven't taken the time to learn it. Uh, given the restrictions on the Cricut machine, being told that the maximum you can cut is eight and a half by 11, um, I'm not interested in purchasing or having that machine, so I'm not gonna learn how to use it. I'm gonna flip over this and fall down like I did in the garage. I forgot to tell you that too, fell down the garage the other day. Um, anyway, I'm not, I'm not gonna have the machine ever, so I'm not gonna learn the software. Now, if somebody would like to leave a message there that, that Propocraft has done an upgrade and that the Cricut Explorer now cuts and prints 12 by 24, or what 12 by any length you want, like the silhouette does, um, Please leave me a message because that would be awesome. On the Crick, on the Cameo, my printer, I have the Epson 7620. On that printer, I can cut 
as long as I want. If I want to cut something 10 feet long or print, I can cut it 10 feet long. Like a banner, uh, it, it has the ability for you to go in there and program the length you want it. You can only go 12 inches wide, but you can go as long as you want. So you can take sheets of like 11 by 17 paper and, and tape them all together and print and then you could go back and enhance whatever it was that you printed that how whatever length um, in those areas where it were seen work so it wouldn't even show. I don't know what the abilities are on the Cricut. Another thing with the Provocraft that I have an issue with is that every time they do an update or come out with a new machine, it's a new software. Um, their support, when they came out with the Cricut Imagine, the Cricut Imagine, I ended up buying three because the first two broke. Then the third one that I got, because I said, I got to have this machine, waiting for them to do all these upgrades that they promised. Next thing I knew, the machine was discontinued altogether. And, you know, you, you don't have the cartridges. The only thing that will print are the, the, what you have on the cartridges, and without those, you can't print. So anyway, then when they came out with this, then they came out with the Cricut Craft Room, which was awesome, but again, has its limitations on the Gypsy, if you wanted to make a piece that was larger than the mat, you, it would cut off the mat. And I had learned how to make these big pieces using the, the gypsy because I could take my image and slide it off the mat and when I would feed it through my Cricut machine, it would cut everything, that was out, everything out that was on the mat. And it worked fine because I could piece it together. I figured that out. Then when they came with the Cricut Craft Room, that ability to do that was discontinued. You can no longer do that. So that was after I decided to try the Cameo. After I got the Cameo, I never touched the Cricut again. So anybody asking me questions regarding the Cricut Explore, um, those are my answers. Wouldn't use it. Wouldn't buy it. Won't learn the, I won't learn any of it. And let's see. I'm looking because there were other questions here. And, yep, there's about the Cricut Explorer. And the markers I were using, this was you, Michelle, Michelle Claiborne. Um, I don't know the brand of them. All I know is I got them at Joanne Fabric. And they are pre-packed by colors. There's a pack of all the different shades of purple. And then there's a pack of all the different shades of green and blue and so on. They're really, really nice. Uh, I used for, for a few years the Copic markers or Copic markers, however you pronounce it, I believe it's Copic. Uh, ungodly expensive, they run around seven, $7.50 per pen. Um, you can buy refill ink for them. I have uh, probably 10 colors for the ref with the refills that the reason I stopped using them is you can't refill them either. When I try and refill them, the only thing that gets refilled is the tip of the marker. Anyway, I, they're way overrated and way too expensive. So I just got these. They, they were pretty inexpensive. I used coupon, got one pack at a time. And let's see, the next question here was um, glitter paper. Sarah, I'd already wrote you back regarding the paper that from AC, uh, the glitter. It's only sold in packs of 15. And they're eighteen seventy five a pack. That's from converters, guys. And next question. Um, Lynn Hebert, you asked me if you bought some um, clip art and you wanted to know if you had to have a special program to open them. No, you do not. You just download them. If you're on a PC, wherever your downloads go, you would just open it up. Um, if it comes as a zip file, you would unzip it. Um, all depends on who you bought it from and how they send it to you. But once you download it, you would have to, there should be a program right on your computer, whether you're using a PC or a Mac, that would open a zip file. Uh, but as far as anything else, you shouldn't have, it, have to have anything special to open that. And then once you open it and it shows you the clip art, you would drag and drop it into your Cameo Silhouette. And the Cameo Silhouette, I would go in there, somebody asked me how I organize them. I name each file, and I might have hundreds of files. My dog is wanting in, so I'm going to let my dog in the room. She knows I'm filming. Come on, photo bombs in. Go to your corner. Anyway, um, 
I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about, Jenna? Or did you tone me Something out already? About the lip art. I don't know. Yeah, she tuned, tuned. She's gotten pretty good at that. Lots of people. It takes years. She didn't pretty quickly. She's tuned me out. And let me see here. Yep, another person asking me use, making these types of centerpieces with the Cricut machine. Somebody asked me if you could do them with the Cricut, the regular expression. Um, again, the only thing you can do on a Cricut expression, you would have to have a cartridge for it. The, the Cricut expression and the original Cricuts, there's no other capabilities of doing anything without a cartridge. It's the only way it works. Uh, okay, and... Let's see. I'm trying to read through all of these because there was a lot of questions, a lot of feedback on my burning mouth. Thank you for all of that. And somebody asked me if I printed like at Kinko's or something, which I would never do. Oh, that looks great. Awesome. Piece of glue stuck on it. Let me see. Oh, she's so cute. Doesn't she look awesome, guys? Okay. You know what I was thinking? I want some of the do? eyes. Yeah, but why don't you just put it in the whites instead of the black? Make the little oh, the shiny. Oh, just this, this one and this one. Yeah. Oh, but that glitter looks awesome. What about Perfect. That sp hmm? Sparkly. We could do some sparkly black on black. that. Okay. Okay. Here's a black one. Oh, she looks so cute. She looks so cute, cute, cute. Let me see, who is this for? This is for, let me see who this is for. Because if she watches this, then she can see her piece. And, oh, there's a real, another really cute one here to do. I think this is for Sarah. I'm pretty sure it's for Sarah. No, it's not. Not for Sarah. I was wrong. Why did they not close out? I closed that one. Okay. I bet you closed the wrong one. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, don't remember who it's for, and I think we closed the wrong order out. Well, I'll go back and check. Anyway, that will be it for now. Um, I will take some pictures when this is all dry. And I'll be back. I think the next thing will be a scrapbook layout. Have a good one. Bye-bye.